Whenever I ask a dropshipper, what is their biggest challenge? What is the biggest problem they have? Most of the time I hear product research. They just don't know what to sell because maybe they found some product and it just doesn't sell. Maybe they just listed some random stuff. They just don't know how to do it. It's always the number one issue when it comes to dropshipping. Recently, I've been using ChatGPT for my dropshipping purposes. Most of the time I use it for the title and the description optimization. So that are full of the keywords for the SEO juice. So my products can rank higher in the Google search. But more importantly, I also started using ChatGPT for product research. And I think this is a very, very useful tool. However, I've been using this tool wrong. You can literally ask ChatGPT, what are the best products to sell right now? And it's going to answer that question, but you're probably going to get a very generic and a broad answer. And these answers don't really help you that much. I mean, they can kind of give you a clue, but it's not the best clue you can get. So for the last couple of days, I've been playing a lot with ChatGPT. I've been learning how to use it. I actually took a course about it. And the main premise of this course is something called prompting. What prompting is in a natural is basically how to talk to the AI so it can give you what you're looking for. And the gist of it is that you need to ask specific questions and give examples to the AI in order to get really good results. And we can use prompting to do product research for the dropshipping products. And in this video, we're going to use prompting to do very effective product research. I'm going to show you a method that I start using. And whenever I'm stuck and I don't know what to sell, I go to my best friend ChatGPT for some help so he can tell me what products are worth selling right now okay so this process is divided into five steps okay first one find best sellers on any marketplace such as Amazon Walmart it doesn't matter just find the best sellers on their website step number two is to find a niche so once you're on the website with the best sellers you want to identify a specific niche and just stick to the niche because it's going to be easier for the AI to work with this method. Okay. Third step that you want to do is you want to ask AI to analyze the products that you're going to give it as an example. The fourth step is going to ask for similar products to the examples you're going to provide. And the last step is to find a supplier and list the products yourself. Okay. So let's start the process. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find this best suppliers. And I'm going to use Amazon. Okay. And I'm on amazon.com because Amazon is the biggest e-commerce website and most of the people just buy over there. Okay. It's just like, there's tons of products, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Amazon is going to be my supplier. I'm just using this as a reference because the fact is that like, if something is being sold on Amazon, there's a high chance that it's also sold on the other websites, such as Walmart, AliExpress, eBay. It doesn't matter. It might be sold on any other website. I'm just using Amazon as a reference. Also, Amazon has this really cool thing right here on the top that says best sellers. So we'll show you the best selling products on Amazon right now. And they have different categories. So like right here, you have the best sellers in the clothing and shoes, jewelry, a lot of black clothes. I guess that's what people love to wear during winter, black clothes, but we're not going to drop ship black clothes because clothes are generally a bad product to drop ship because you have to deal with returns and stuff like that. What we're going to do instead, we're going to go to a different category. Okay. And I'm going to go to the category called automotive. Why? Because I drop ship on Facebook marketplace and eBay. And this is one of the best categories to dropship on these marketplaces. And if you don't know what Facebook marketplace or eBay dropshipping is, check out dropshippingyield.com where you can join my course or get a free training when I'll teach you what it is. In a nutshell, it's a way of dropshipping without spending money on ads because you use the power of marketplace to advertise your products for you. But there's more nuance to it. That's why I recommend you go to the dropshipping.com and learn everything you need to know about Facebook marketplace or eBay dropshipping. Let's continue with our video though. So I'm going to go with automotive because this is a very good niche to sell on different marketplaces. And even if you do Shopify dropshipping, automotive products are hot. People go crazy for their car stuff. Car enthusiasts are very passionate people and they'll buy you know, all these stuff that they can use on their babies slash cars. So right here, we have a list of best selling products on Amazon, right? So we have this wiper, we have this uh, gel that allows you to clean your car, some sort of air compressor, you know, you get the idea. There's a bunch of products. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to copy the top 10. 
All right, so I'm gonna copy the titles of these products and I'm gonna go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it to analyze these products. So here's the prompt I gave to ChatGPT. I said, here's a list of 10 best selling products on Amazon. And I ask it, can you analyze these products and tell me what they have in common? Because I wanna find the commonality. We already know that all of these products come from automotive, but maybe there's something we're missing and we're gonna use AI to figure out what, what else is there. Remember, we're trying to do prompting here, which is a way of asking questions to AI to get the answers we're looking for. And I also gave it 10 examples, the 10 titles from Amazon that I got about these 10 products. So let's see what ChatGPT will say about my question. So watch what happened. ChatGPT successful recognized that all of these products are related to car maintenance and accessories. And then kind of give a breakdown of each particular product, okay? It explained what each product does. But then at the end, it says, overall, these products are designed to help with the maintenance and upkeep of a car. Basically, what we did so far is we gave the products that are very successful on Amazon to AI so it can learn what they have in common. We asked to show us what they have in common and what are these products? Because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to give us similar products to sell. Because here's the thing, if these products are the top sellers on Amazon and the automotive niche that means that very similar products to these products have a high chance of selling as well that's a true trick to product research if you find something that sells very well just try selling similar stuff to it i do this all the time and this is a very successful tactic so what i'm gonna ask now is can you give me similar products that i can sell let's see what happens okay so now chat gpt gave me a list of products that are similar to whatever is selling on amazon in the best selling category and we give me some different categories that are close to it so we get like floor mats seat covers wax and polish car wash soap tire shine basically products that are related to maintenance and organization because these are the best products on amazon all of the top 20 best sellers on amazon in the automotive industry are related to maintenance so it makes sense that JGPD give us other products related to that niche. The next step is to pick one of these categories to find a supplier that has these products. So I really like this category, car camera and parking sensor systems. I think every modern car has a backup camera now, but the older models don't. And a lot of people are looking for backup cameras, especially if they live in a big city. And I think this is a very popular category. And cameras these days, they're not that expensive as they used to be. And also electronics usually do very well. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm just gonna Google and see what we find. So I type in in Google car camera and parking system system and I'm gonna see what, what's out there, okay? I'm gonna find a supplier that I'm gonna use for my dropshipping purposes. So uh, I'm just gonna go to the shopping option and I wanna see like a bigger screen. I wanna see more results. And I was able to find this camera right here on eBay, okay? So this camera on eBay costs $17 plus the $5 shipping. It's a very cheap product. It only costs like 20 something bucks, but I might be able to drop ship this on like Facebook Marketplace, for example. I don't know, for like 30, 40, and whatever it is in between is my profit pretty much. That's the beauty of dropshipping on marketplaces. You can use US-based websites like eBay, Amazon, whatever, to dropship on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, for example. This is way easier than like Shopify dropshipping. So I'm gonna copy this title. And I'm gonna check if this is available on Facebook Marketplaces. There are other people selling similar products. So as you can see on face, there's a lot of listings like that on Facebook Marketplace. And like, here's a similar camera selling for hundred bucks. Here's one for $1, but that's probably a trick. Here's one for 300, 120. So as you can see, there are people selling this type of product. Now I'm gonna go on my phone. I'm gonna open a Facebook Marketplace app on my phone because when you're on your phone, you kinda can see more data. Basically your mobile version of your Facebook Marketplace is gonna show you how many sales or how many saves a specific product has. So I wanna see if there's a if there's someone specifically selling the same camera I am. And if so, are they getting any sales? So I was able to find someone that's selling this camera, the exact same camera, on Facebook Marketplace, and they have 17 other shoppers that save this listing, which is a really good sign. And I will try to show you this. I don't not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be successful. And here's the listing. As you can see, this is the same camera or very similar camera, and it has 17 people that save that listing. It sells for $30, but the guy is also charging $10 for shipping. 
So he's basically selling it for 40 bucks. So he's dropping from eBay into Facebook Marketplace. He has a very quick shipping time because on eBay, you usually have to ship it within like three business days and somebody else is selling on Facebook Marketplace. That's the ultimate dropshipping finesse over there. And then my friend is how you can use ChatGPT to do product research for your dropshipping purposes. Remember, this method doesn't need to be applied just to like eBay or Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. You can also use this for Shopify dropshipping. I can simply just go to the AliExpress and find products like this on AliExpress as well. And then build the website around these products and dropship them over there. But I prefer marketplace dropshipping because I don't need to spend money on ads. And if you want to learn how to do it, make sure to visit dropshipping.com where you can get a free training that will explain the basic information about dropshipping marketplaces. You can also check out my YouTube channel. But if you're free, you're ready to really dive into it. I recommend you join the dropshipping guild, which is my program where you're going to get Get access to two courses one dedicated to dropshipping on facebook marketplace but also facebook shop so technically like one and a half course and then the other course is dedicated to ebay dropshipping where you will learn all the tips and tricks to increase your profits by using like tax exemption but also how to find hot products there are other ways of doing it as well even though chat gpt method is very good and i really love it and more importantly chat gpt can also be used for other stuff as well such as title and description optimization writing customer scripts writing abundant card emails i mean this tool is amazing but yeah if you join the dropshipping guild you're gonna get two courses for the price of one this is a limited time offer i'm gonna close this deal down you'll also get access to our private discord where you also have weekly meetings with me other dropshippers sometimes we have guests from the e-commerce world other influencers other successful dropshippers other people from different e-commerce spheres like Amazon FBA and online arbitrage and stuff like that. So if that's something that you want to explore, you will find the link down below for the website and the courses. But that'll be it for today. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care, my friend.